Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, we will be seeing how to find out the length of the given list using recursion. So basically, we will have two methods over there to find out the list of the, I mean, to length of the uh, given uh, list or array, we can say, and we will seeing uh, these two methods one by one. So before another video, I would look, I would introduce my channel that is Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Bricks, Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with today's video. So for that, let me go back to my compiler and here you, you can see I have written the quotient that is find out number of items in a list using recursion or we can say length of the length of the list. So let's say I have one list called L and here if I am passing this one, two, three, four elements. Okay, now if I say you what is the I mean find out the number of items, the number of item is basically four right and i can find out with the help of this length inbuilt function right if i print it it should print it should print four that is correct right now i said to find out like to solve this problem using recursion so we have to write the recursion code so what we can do over here is that um, is that i will create one function that is dev Let's say count underscore length and here I will pass one parameter. Let's say L which is which will be the list. Now here I check if not L like if L is empty then return zero else or we can you know uh, write down in, in outside if is that return one plus count underscore len l of one colon till the end okay now if i try to print this if i write count underscore len of uh, l then it should print me four let's see what is the output the output is four right let's say i am passing here five three four one three one five six now let me run this now the output is 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if i remove everything then the output should be 0 that is true in this case right now we will see how i mean what is happening over here so let's say i am taking 1 2 3 only okay the output should be 3 here correct so i am calling this function count underscore len of l so this one two three is passing over here it is going here it is checking no it is not empty it is not null so it is coming over here this return one plus this right so in in first this one plus one plus count of l plus uh, l plus uh, i mean uh, l one till the end right so what will be the uh, output or what will be the value over here is that 2 comma 3 right 2 comma 3 now in second iteration so it is calling the function right so it is passing this 2 3 and running it again running it again so it is checking it is not null or not empty so it is coming over here again it is checking Again, it is have it is uh, uh, calculating this step. This time, this one above one, and uh, I mean for this function, uh, you know, we write down one again, right? One plus, and it will pass now only three. Correct. Likewise, in the third iteration, the third iteration, the value would be like one plus one plus one, and then this three is also printed right this one is printed and one and it will be like uh, empty in the fourth iteration in the fourth iteration what what will happen in the fourth iteration what will happen it will give us the zero right returns zero so the output is three the sum of this is three so if i run this 
you can see the output is three okay so this is the like this is very small problem to understand more recursion okay what is happening so in the in recursion what we do we usually pass one we usually pass one breaking condition okay so this is in this say in this program this is the breaking condition and then we pass the condition which called itself until the loop breaks or until the condition become false